Primitanium baby cream has now been discontinued in the UK and this is why I think it's been discontinued. Now on the website it says they have supply chain issues and they're not going to make it ever again but that sounds a bit fishy to me so I started looking at the ingredients and I was shocked. Let's start with the titanium dioxide. Now titanium dioxide is a natural minimal, mineral and it acts as a physical UV barrier on your skin. However, if it's in nano form, then the particles are teeny, teeny, tiny and they can go through your bloodstream. And it can also be very harmful to aquatic life. In fact, a few years ago, I was trying to formulate a natural SPF and I approached the Soil Association for some guidance. And they said, actually, in a few years time, Sean, we're not going to be able to use titanium dioxide because of the way it's manufactured. So that's why um, I prefer to use zinc oxide, which is actually some studies have shown more effective at healing skin than titanium dioxide anyway. But anyway, titanium dioxide is a very, very white powder and it's put in here for that healing aspect. But that's not the ingredient I'm too worried about. It's the Dimifacone 350, which is a microplastic. It will soak into your baby's skin, bioaccumulate in your organs, and it can cause all sorts of disruption to your hormones, so it's an endocrine disruptor and it can cause inflammation of the organs. So why would you put that in a baby cream? I have no idea, but it's a cheap filler. They pull it in here as an emollient to make it go on nice and smooth, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's not needed in my opinion. Then we've got liquid paraffin, white soft paraffin, both highly flammable, both occlusive to the skin. They trap in bacteria. They don't let the skin breathe. And again, a very cheap filler made from petroleum that again, I think is not needed. Use shea butter instead. Tincture of benzoin is put in there because um, it's an antiseptic, but it also has a very distinct smell. So it can be put in there for added fragrance. That's what you can smell in this cream. This is flammable as well due to the alcohol content in it and ca can cause allergic reactions. Titanium peroxide is put in there as it's an oxidizing agent. Titanium salicylate, can provide anti-inflammatory properties, so maybe helping the nappy rash go down quicker. But in my opinion, if you're looking for an alternative to this that doesn't have titanium dioxide, that has zinc oxide instead, is certified organic with no microplastics, in fact, that's not plastic, then go for the Intensive Skin Recovery Cream. This is formulated especially for sore skin and it is totally safe for babies, tested by Oxford Biosciences, or you can get it in a 100 mil tin and it's hypoallergenic. And in my opinion, I'm no one biased, but is a lot better for your baby than this. So that's why I think this has been discontinued because the ingredients are just not up to scratch anymore. And people like you watching this are waking up to know what is in your skincare and why you should care. If there are any other skincare products you'd like me to dissect, then just let me know.